Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and to the Climbing Hunger in Exeter, which is a brand new gym. This gym opened, I think around a week ago. I have a very exciting session planned because I'm here with Alex Waterhouse, who is a professional climber. So he's kind of like fairly good. Would you say fairly good fairly climbing? Fairly good, depends on the day. <laughs> so Alex is going to give me a hand up some more dynamic, kind of like anti-style for me, boulders. I'm going to try and uh, squeeze his brain for all the tips. We'll get you bouncing. And techniques to try and get me moving a little bit more dynamically. Perfect. So I'm quite excited to see what Alex can get me up. That's mad stuff. So, first what, boulder. First, yeah. Do you reckon this red is a good uh, introduction? Or do you reckon start with something? Maybe we could start, maybe we'll start with that red over there, the one you tried a little bit. Yeah. And that could be a good place to start. Fair. It's a little bit more basic. Ah, oh, it does look hard. <laughs> I hadn't come around the corner. No, well, we're in now. Easy. Yeah, nice heel. Really good, super slow. You can go up with your right hand here. Come on. Nice. Come on. Can you do a left foot inside of your hands? In inside? That, there's, a, there's a foothold in there. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Now really, yeah, it's bad, but come on. Bump your right foot up a little bit into the shoulder. Come on. Whoa. Ooh, okay, nice. Okay, so you're thinking. So it looks to me like you want to come out to this, to the, the left the one is a shoulder. Yeah. You did a nice job on this move. I could see like iron up a drop knee. Yeah. But just to punch for it, I think was probably better. Save yourself a little bit of time. Um, so you could, so you're on on this move. So yeah, left foot comes in. It looked like you wanted to move your right foot up a little bit. Yeah. Come out like that. So this is actually quite good once you're in there. Sure. It's just a case of getting far enough around it. I think you tried to come into match. Bad idea. I think probably a bad idea. <laughs> At least when your hand's low, mm -hmm. it's a better hold and you can sort of use that to get the direction up and left. Okay. So I would say probably just try that move. Look close though. Yeah, I'm curious about how that would feel because it feels quite far. So yeah. like in my mind, I was going to go quite low on it. So I think if you go up high, you get a good guppy. It look, yeah, you can use the I, I felt like It oh. felt like a real drug. I could really like hang below it pretty okay. well sort of use the friction. Come yeah, on, same again, punch. Good, really nice. Left foot in, bump your right foot up slightly. Now go with a little bit of dynamic. Yeah, good, flip the hand the other way. Yeah, you got it, now you're looking good. Come on, tight. Yeah, that's it, good. Now in close, you're going round the corner on the left. Good, you've got a foot up by your left knee. Nice, last hold's good. Yeah. Nice, really good. we got to add the first move in. Yeah, <laughs> it's only like two moves to add in. It's almost a shame, isn't it? I was thinking about trying to get the heel in. Yeah. Do you think that's... I, so it, Inadvisable. So it's, it's almost like trying to do too much. Yeah. Quite often, you probably could get heel or a closed toe, but the amount of time it would take to get everything in, it's probably a lot more efficient just to switch feet and go. Especially because that last move, you know you're going to a good hold. Yeah. It's not like you have to slow it down to get there. You can sort of punch for it a little bit and yeah. go pretty well. It looked fine when you just swap feet and went for it. So if you did that without having the hesitation of trying the heel beforehand, then I think sure. that would probably be a little Don't bit easier. Over engineer. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that was good on the move out left. Going yeah. this way was nice because it meant you got that like little bit of extra reach. If you tried to go that way, you almost had to be a little bit further over mm -hmm. with your body. But that way worked yeah. really well. So. Okay. I think that's going to go. <gasps> Take a okay, little chill. Do. Three to four minutes. <laughs> How long would you usually rest between attempts? So it, it's easy to just like rapid fire. Yeah. Um. I mean, I. 
would probably say like three minutes is your like minimum if you've right. done a good few so you did quite a few moves there right you did one two three four five moves mm -hmm. a rule of thumb people use is like a minute per move on something that's hard sure okay. um but it's just as long as you're taking a couple of minutes as long as you feel yeah. totally recovered then it's fine to have another yeah. go um, i think that's like usually my downfall in a session it's easy to get carried away with it and be like oh like i, go, I, go, I just go, go, yeah go. now yeah. i just need to add the first move and yeah Actually, I'm definitely not getting anything back. I'm very think. guilty of that. And I mean, it's not the end of the world, like, because you get a little bit of endurance benefit and mm -hmm. you, it means you get to get more climbing in the amount of time you're there. But for the hardest climbs that you want to try, for projecting, for max strength training, for any sort of power training, you want to be fully recovered in between goes. Um, cool. Yeah, come on. Nice, really smooth. Get in. Good, much better. Can we get that foot up? Punch fit. Left foot in. Come on. And good, really nice. Yeah. Come on, keep going. Good, nice, round the corner. Nice, right foot straight through. And just punch fit. Last move. Come on, get it. Yes, yeah. easy. Oh. <laughs> Good work. Nice. Very nice. Thank that you. was great. Yeah. No, it looked good. You moved quickly through the first bit. Um, yeah. You sort of missed with your heel when you put it on here the first time. Yeah. You like went a bit far out, but you corrected it I pretty kind quickly. Of, um, yeah, I think the first few attempts I like spent quite a long time like placing it yeah which it's probably a good idea but I knew that I could probably still make it yeah work and then on this bit it looks like you've really learned that sort yeah. of movement up and left now you've got the confidence to sort of punch up for it yeah it, it, the move looks really easy it almost looked like you didn't need to go that way with the hand you could have gone straight yeah, into the guppy probably. um that was great nicely done thank you oh next one oh, moving on <laughs> so, um so do you want to try the jumpy one now or do you want to try this like campusy swingy thing let's go for the jumpy one jumpy one okay. yeah i'm feeling jumpy you're feeling jumpy well actually nice. that was a lie <laughs> <laughs> the next one we're going to go for is this red which at first glance looks like a kind of like running jump type situation with i find with climbs like these i sometimes find it a little bit difficult to imagine how i'm gonna to have to catch the yeah. first hold like oh, do i want this do i want that it, it's quite difficult sometimes to judge how far above your head it's going to be yeah so like if it's here it'll be underneath yeah I, so i mean that looks to me like you're going to grab it with two thumbs or maybe okay. push up into it with the palms okay um i think i'll trust your assessment on that well i mean it's so <laughs> <laughs> uh, go for two thumbs think, yeah if you go for two thumbs but I, I mean i think the key for this first move is going to be to make sure that you're in against the wall so right. if you when you stand up on this step up into it close to the yeah. wall because if you're if your butt's out or you don't yeah. get in far enough or you're too far down then you're not going to have that sort I of do you have a tendency straight down push to do a lot of like like this yeah like bouncing back off it like i mean that way. so the uh, the key i think is rather than imagining that you're like jumping it's almost like getting up on a high step so right. you're going in but you're also then pushing down once you're in sure. so if you imagine like on the edge of the mats like you're rather than jumping mm -hmm. you're like going up like that and pushing sure. straight up okay it's just i definitely like suffer from the i don't i go into my first attempt not expecting it to be like my last attempt like i know or i think i'm probably going to do this loads and so i've kind of already given up in my mind just for like if you're in a competition you have to do every go so you kind of think you're gonna yeah send yeah it. there's no real space for like sight of goes quite yeah. often people will like go for a jump and then just like never even think about holding the hold they'll just touch it and go like oh okay now i think i can do it you don't really get that chance because sometimes one attempt can be the difference between yeah. winning the comp and coming sick for making the final or not so you've got to go take every every attempt with with some Believe. with some psych go psych. for it psych. you got it 
Well, there's so much to think about, isn't there? Like, where do I want my fart? I would try, not to, I try not to think about it too much. Focus on getting your foot in about the right place mm -hmm. and then think about standing up onto it and then see, okay. what, see how you go from there. Do you look at the hold you're going for or do you look at your feet? So I would look at my feet until I know they're going, so until I probably get about here and I know it's going to go there, then I would start to look at the next hand. So you don't have to, because if you, if you watch this all the way till you're on there, it's too late to look up. Yeah. So make sure it's going to go to the right place. Guide it on and then switch your vision to the next thing. Come on. Nice. That's a good start. That was, that was better than I was expecting, actually. Okay. You look like you tried thing. to hold it, which is good. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. It, yeah, it feels like it is quite high. Yeah. So the thumbs... Maybe, I don't know, maybe more yeah, I guess clamp the, with the fingers. So I think that makes sense to have your hips in like this. Yeah. You don't actually have to pull that hard. So that felt like I was doing this quite a lot to make sure I was pushing weight down through my, down through the, the feet. Really so like hips trying to get all the way up against the wall. So that's the like, the challenge of when you're doing a run you need to go hard enough that your hips get in close, but if you go too hard, then you're gonna bang off the wall and sort of bounce. Yeah. So you need to find that like dead point right in the, the end. Nice, okay, that looked hips good. Hips more in. So hips more in, but then it looked like you twisted off. So yeah. because you only had one foot on, you hit here and then your hips sort of span out like that. I think maybe if you try and make sure you've Stop. got two feet, it gives you a little bit more of a base. Okay. Um, the other thing I would say is don't stand all the way up here. Okay. There's a lot more space if you're stood towards the edge of the hold a little bit. Yeah. So it's like if you're on a slab, if you stand, if, if you're on a volume on a slab, if you stand all the way in against the wall, like, well, there's not very much space. If you stand out here, all of a sudden you've got like a much yeah. more of like a, a triangle. So you, it's the same concept, but it's a, a more overhanging. Because you're never going to be there with no weight on your hands, but yeah. you're trying to reduce it. Okay. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now go for it. Jump. Woo! Oh! <laughs> that's me. Yes, that's great. And that looks like okay. it's going to work too. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? it you looked okay. You look, so you've got two options there. Either you can stop and hold it, yeah. or you can pull up as you go, and the next one's a lot better. So okay. you could sort of continue that momentum and pull through. Oh, they both will work though. Good effort on the first move. There's quite a lot going on. There's just like yeah. lots to think about because you, you do the first move and then, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Thank you. I'm hoping it's one of those, like you do it once yeah. and then your It should be like, like it every time. Yeah, it's something clicks. It's that like. <laughs> That's but. the plan. But you just need to make sure you think about like the same things. Whatever yeah. you were thinking about last time, try yeah. and think about that the same thing. Don't, now, so what happens to me quite often is I'll do the first move and then like it's taken me a few goes and then I'm thinking about the second move and I then can't do the first move again. Yeah. So you need to make sure you maintain the focus on the move that was hard for you before. I'm loving all the like chalky hand smears down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's very <laughs> ominous. Um, the other thing you can do, so you can jump a little bit further is your feet are like here, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you could step one of them up so it's a little bit more bent for you to push and do the jump off. Come on. Nah. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, that was the, the this leg yeah. again went like. Yeah. So you didn't have that like base. Really nice. Oh, go for it. No, oh, that was close. The swing, I find. Yeah. I so don't know. do you think? Does that felt like? Does that feel like you could stop? You hold it on feels to that. like I'm coming back too far and then just going. Bloop. Straight off the back of it. Yeah. Hmm. So, do you think you could get there and pull up and go to the next one? Because that's... If I were on the hold... Yeah. So when you, when you jump for it, do a pull yeah. up. And so, then go, like, paddle it. You know, I'm going to steal some chalk. Go for it. So... Nice. Like, when you go for this, you see that? Like, yeah. so you follow 
that I'm arc really with your feet, like, it. so your feet come up behind you like this, mm -hmm. and then you go like that, and like, try and engage in that shoulder position. It's quite a lot happening, but mm -hmm. basically if you think about, going again. hit it, and then start pulling immediately, then you should, yeah. the arc of your hips should like, pull you up into it. Okay. Um, and the other thing you can do is sort of, to give yourself a bit more time, is to do that when, with your shoulders, sort of come out a little bit and pull in for that move but that's quite shouldery. Yeah, it feels like I'm trying to catch and control every single move. Yeah. And then by the time, like I can't really control that because my legs are... Yeah. It's like off. too late, isn't it? By the time you've... Already yeah. off, yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. So you started moving in that direction, Brain was didn't a bit, you? Yeah. Like, so I think there's quite a lot of like snap required. You have to move quite quickly in order yeah. to get up to that next one. Look good though. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think it was more of a, I could feel the lag in my brain. Like well, I'd fallen off. I was like, oh no. Oh, <laughs> the cogs turning. <laughs> it's a struggle. Come on. Yes, oh, okay, that was quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is melting. <laughs> that was great. You were like most of the way up that hand. So it looked like you have got the nice like movement with your hips. You just need to like bend your arms a little bit more. Yeah. Would be my... Was I just, was I short, like what happened? So you, you oh. hit about halfway down with this hand. Okay. So the thing is, I mean, I think, I think if you've got more bend in that arm and you hit that, that's a lot better and you've got mm. opposition. So you should be able to, Stop. Come on. Ooh. 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 That was like too much. Interval. A bit too jazzy. Yeah, I got a bit. Yeah, ahead I mean, of so you, this is your left foot. This nice smear here. Oh. So I get that brush probably. So Alex has just shown me that the move that I'm trying to achieve is called a double clutch. I'm using like the climbing Bible practical exercises. Just like a, a new training focused book, but as the name would suggest, with like a load of practical drills and exercises to improve strength and technique. Um, to be honest, before about 20 seconds ago, I don't think I'd ever heard of a double clutch. So it's basically like a double dyno, but where the first hold you land isn't like good enough to control the move, so you have to go again. So this is like basically reiterating what Alex has been saying about moving quickly so rather than trying to like control that move um, like moving quickly through it and almost thinking of it as kind of just like a, a stop gap to the next hold or a way to get to the next hold so this is like just one of like loads of different kinds of dyno but this is one that we've been able to kind of like find in the gym and really like implement the method to talk about so now I'm gonna give it another go and commit to moving like fast, fast arms. Well, that's the hope. Nice. Whoa, oh, that, that was, was really better. close. It looked I like- I wish I could try that move. Like, I, well, I can, I suppose you said go into the- Yeah. To be honest though, I feel like the whole time I'm on that hole, yeah. I feel like I'm like, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. Falling I'm back outwards, back. yeah. So it might, you might be a little, it's, it's quite a powerful position basically. So I think hit it and then look up, go. Don't yeah. try and think too much and don't hang around there because you're just reducing the amount of like, power you have out of that move. Yeah. But look great though. You had your hand, left hand look like it went over the top of the I hold. I think I like much. swipe over it. Yeah. It's okay. sort of as good all the way, but you see the two screws in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's basically as good all the way between them and even pretty good on the right. So I would hit it probably with my index on the right screw. So like, yeah. Because otherwise, if you go all the way to the middle, it's just sort of extra distance. Yeah, more shoulder. Okay. Come on, try hard. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh! That was pretty cool. It you were over, you were, your hand was on it, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you think that final position you could hold okay? 
<laughs> it, at the minute, it does feel like I am still slapping. Yeah. But I it think better. it would help if you were just a little bit higher up. More pull. If, if you had more pull, so you'd get a bit more out of the bottom hand. And rather than hitting this thing totally outstretched, you'd have a little bit of engagement. Yeah. Sort of that like one, three, five angle with an engaged shoulder is a lot more. Yeah. There's a lot more you can do with it, basically. You'll be able to slow yourself down, whereas if you're on a straight arm, it's all in your fingers, which is pretty tricky. Right, get it. Give it some. Nice. Pull. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think you've made a massive amount of progress on that, yeah, that boulder, though. So. Like, going from real, because you were really unsure about the first move, even. And now I think you're, yeah, within spitting different distance of that second move, which is a lot harder. Yeah. So. Cool. Should we move on to? Can do. To another. Yeah. And then I can always come back to it. Come back. Slide and, back and over. I'm like collecting a, a bunch of unfinished climbs that I need to. Uh... That's what a good climbing wall is about. <laughs> a good climbing wall should be full of projects. Yeah. So thank you very much. Perfect. For joining me and helping me through those climbs, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to leave links to the Climbing Hunger and Alex's social media in the description of this video. I'll also leave a link to The Climbing Bible, which is the book that we referenced a little in this video. There's loads of really good content in there, covering all sorts of kind of technical drills, strength and conditioning stuff. So yeah, I'll definitely be pouring over that. But yeah, thank you very much. It's been a lot of fun. It's been great. And I'll see you in my next video.